Welcome to the numerology and the astrology for 9-12-2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 17. And if you add the 1 and the 7 together, you get the number 8. The number 8 attempts to take the finite to the infinite. Infinite. Nah. <laughs> it is the infinity symbol on its side. On the highest level, this number is about pure spiritual connection that connects all living things. That's why breath is associated with it. Within the breath gives us the juice to never get tired. When there is not enough conscious breath, a soul struggles to re regulate their energy. It is also called the breath of life number or the breath of the compassionate number. It points to resurrection, rebirth, and renewal. It is the pulse of life that connects and integrates the infinite into this world. In Christianity, the 888 was the number for Christ because he was the resurrection and the life. While the number seven represents the number of creation, seven days, um, the eighth day was the day of regeneration. It is the reminder that we heal emotionally when we release pent up emotions and feelings that are restrictive and block the flow of life force. When we learn to accept all emotions and allow them to move through all the chakras without judgment, the spirit within the breath that is moving them will assist us to transcend the physical world of suffering and move into the infinity. Because the number eight is the sun in numerology, it is a reminder that when we allow ourselves to be guided uh, to those places where we need to shine, then our desires burn brightest and then life within our soul breathes a breath of fresh air. There is a place in life where one needs to step beyond fear and allow the gloriousness within to be seen by others. Today, notice if you are showing past life and karmic sadness and suffering even now through your body language, posture, or facial expressions, if you are working with depression in this life, go deeper and reach beyond this genetic incarnation and seek ways to remember further backwards in time to find the originating place that all this emotion is attached to. Once we can remember, embrace, and love that place where the suffering and despair began, we can more easily begin to unravel those threads in this life that continue to hold it together in this reality. The astrology today. The moon is still in the emotional and passionate sign of Scorpio until the wee hours of the morning when it enters the energetic and optimistic sign of Sagittarius. It is a time to dynamically engage the world with the intention to explore and look to the future and what is rapidly coming our way. Many are setting very high goals, and we just don't know what is happening below our level of awareness. The future is bright if you know where to look, and we look towards the young innovators that intend to save us from ourselves. There are those that have set very high goals and have done it very quietly. Get ready. Shifts are the beginning on, shifts are beginning on some and many astrological levels. The moon and the south node are trying to pull us backwards, but it will not work. Comfort from our past that is familiar and antiquated is not going to give us the satisfaction that it did in our historical past. While our past pulls at us, the future is dragging us forward, and that is a very good thing. Instead of attaching to the past, reach for a better future. The moon will sextile Saturn later today, and that inspires some new and very stabilizing actions. Um, today I do not have a blog, uh, a quote, and you're going to find out right now because of my blog. <laughs> okay, so thank you for bearing with me. So my blog for today. My 13-year-old cat was attacked by a stray tom that wanders around this area. I'm pretty sure it is that cat because I went outside and caught him running out from under our deck. And you know how you have your own animals, you're very intuitive about your own animals, and I wonder if he had pinned my cat under there. I have to admit, she does have a vendetta against him, and she does not like any other cats in her territory. I also noticed that he had been hanging around. I feed a very quiet, stray orange tabby. My husband, husband named her Samantha each morning, and when she is not there, I know that the other Tom is around. Samantha is a big cat, three times the size of my cat, and she does not mess with him. That should tell me something. If Samantha is not there, I know she is hiding from that Tom, and Samantha is not a fighter but a runner, and she is fast, very fast. So, of course, 
this happens Friday night before the weekend and the vet is all the way in Ukiah and I will make an appointment for her and you know and in the meantime she is eating and drinking but staying under my bed always a sign that a cat does not feel well there is a small scratch or a, uh, a tooth mark on her shoulder and she is favoring that right leg and she won't put weight on it and I checked and the leg seems fine and I think it is the shoulder but she's not purring and seems to feel really shitty. And she will she will let me pet her, but does not like it when I try and feel into her shoulder. So, of course, I took her to the vet this morning, and she has a cracked rib, five bite marks, and a low-grade infection from the bites, and lots of bruising. Bruising. The vet said she was mugged. <laughs> And she is 13 years old, so it's an old woman in cat years. So it's like an old woman getting mugged. Poor baby. So needless to say, my morning got disrupted because the vet was only open until noon. And so I had to drive, drive an hour into Ukiah in order to get her to the vet and find out what was going on and then get back here and then do appointments this afternoon. So it's been a little bit of an intense day. And, and you know, I think everybody could feel the 9-11 energy. Like everybody I talked to client-wise was really kind of depressed and down. They were feeling you know, just not the best. And it's a, it's kind of a heavy day today. It just feels like a heavy day. So I hope everyone out there had a better 9-11 than I did. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.